Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be the value of a life and business coach. Got an email here from a viewer, and he says, Hey, Coach, I'm impressed by your advice, not only in dealing with women, but with your life coaching skills. I used to have a life coach many years ago, but that person decided to take a senior management position just after the credit crisis. I have been thinking about looking into getting a new business life coach, and do you th do you do those types of things? And he says, "Oh, by the way, cause this particular guy that's writing me has writ had written me previously about this woman that he had gone out with, and things weren't really going anywhere with her." And so he says, "By the way, this woman I thought who was only just going out with me because it was better than staying at home looking at the four walls." She basically screwed my brains out the other night and has asked for a relationship, and your advice was spot on. Well, might not always be right, but I'm never wrong. I'm pretty good at what I do. So, so the answer to your question, yes, I do a lot of life coaching, guys helping them with their businesses, because i got guys that, that come to me and they're having problems in their business, and the reason they're having problems in their business is just because of they're having challenges in their own life. I've got guys that uh, I coach every week. Started out, they got they had gained weight, so I help them. They get a personal trainer. They start eating healthy. I talk to them on a weekly basis. We start looking at their staff and the people that he has working for him, looking at what their particular job descriptions are, talking about management skills to see where they've got money bleeding out. Because if a guy's just not happy in his life and things aren't going really well, he tends to just neglect things in his in his business. And I, had one of my clients in particular, he's got a couple million dollars in tax liens that he owes the government, and so he's like under constant threat of them basically coming and shutting him down if he doesn't continue to make up what he hasn't paid them in taxes and things of that nature. So he's trying to keep his keep his doors open and grow his business, and he had just neglected it and let his business get to such a point. It was the same thing with his body; it hadn't been working out, and so he got he gained weight. It was that you know it was a couple years after his marriage ended, and so it was just he had a lot of people working for him. They were just fucking him and taking advantage of him, and they were working just hard enough to not get fired, or even worse, he had some people taking advantage of him, overbilling him for overtime hours and stuff like that from the technicians that worked for him. And it was just like a death by a thousand paper cuts. And so when I start talking to him and we start talking about the people he's got working for him, what their responsibilities are if they're performing up to the standards that he thinks they need to be and we're honest with it or he's honest with himself and he starts telling me what's going on and what these people are doing he's then able to start getting rid of people that are a total drag on the company or like a boat anchor basically that's holding holding the company back because when you have really good people working for you when you have like a players working for you in a business a players don't want to work with somebody that's a B and C player or somebody doesn't show up at time or they don't work as hard as everybody else or their their passion is just not there, they're lethargic, that kind of thing. And so those you keep bad B and C players on your team and your business, your company or working for you, they're gonna bring everybody else down and eventually the A players, some will get tired of it because they don't want to work with B and C players and then they fucking leave and they go work for a company that where they can work with other B and C players. So I helped him get his, because I mean, like literally, like this particular guy, one of my particular clients, I mean, he was like when he first called me, he was literally weeks away from going out of business, having to file bankruptcy, because things were just really that bad. And so he got things cleaned up. He's still got a, a long, a long way to go, but things are going well now, and he's got a couple of chicks that he's dating and hooking up with in his, in his life. And so he's kind of getting his mojo back. He's got a great marketing person that he's he's hired in, in the past year. And so things are moving in the right direction, and he's feeling happier. But, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a process. And so I do all kinds of things. I mean, teaching guys how to be successful with women is really just a small facet of being a successful man. And so what, what I focus on as a life coach is I focus on helping guys have balance in all areas of their life, not just with chicks, but with their health, with their exercise program, getting to their ideal weight because if you don't have your health it's hard to be great in your relationship if you don't have your health it's hard to work and be focused to be mentally mentally clear 
to the point that you need to be in order to do the things that you need to do at your business in order to become successful and grow it into the thing the kind of business that you want or to grow your and advance your career to get the management level position whatever it is that you're you're striving for in your career but the idea is and plus you focus on your friendships you focus on your relationships with the other people because the idea is you think of all of the areas that are important in your life kind of like a a pie and like you cut it up and to say like six six slices and so one slice might be your 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 health another slice might be exercising eating healthy that kind of thing another slice might be money that you've put away for retirement another slice might be your business another slice might be your intimate relationships and so like all these different pieces of the pie you can think of it like a wheel and so if, if you've got a car and it's like one of these slices maybe a relationship slice is not doing too well that piece of pie is a little smaller than the rest of them so if your wheel was actually shaped like that there'd be kind of like a gap there because that part is smaller than the, the rest of the wheel and so as it goes around in a circle it makes for a bumpy ride and so if you've got a lot of areas of your life that are all kind of discombobulated and out of whack you're overweight your energy sucks you got health problems your structure's out of the line you've got chiropractic problems or you just you don't feel well you don't have a lot of energy your business isn't going well your relationships aren't going well you're not hanging out with your friends very much your finances are a mess or whatever it makes for a very bumpy ride in life and it's very hard to be happy and to pursue the things that you want in life because a chick will make you happy but after six months a year when the infatuation wears off you're still left with the fact that you were unhappy and you got that fucking bumpy wheel and now not only are you making yourself miserable but you're making her miserable because of all these areas of your life that are totally out of whack and so as a life coach that's basically what i do is i focus on helping a guy become well balanced in all areas of his life and so as his, his relationships become better and his successful women come, becomes better he naturally wants to focus more on health and take care of himself and focusing on his goals i mean it just it spills over success in any area of your life spills over into the other areas and brings them up but the idea is you need to be focused and directed doing the activities on a daily basis monday through friday that bring you most of your results and that's what i as a life coach one of the things i, I help you do so if you have a question <clears throat> that you want to ask me go to my website click the contact me tab which will be on the left hand side of your screen send me one to two paragraphs max and just give me several days to get back to you with a response if you want to talk to me right away the quickest way to get my help is to go ahead and book a paid phone coaching session so you and i can talk one-on-one -on -one. go to my website right now and on the products tab which will be at the top of your screen just follow the instructions for booking a paid phone coaching session if you want to get a digital version of my kindle ebook on my website underneath the email sign up box is the box that has a link that will take you right to the amazon kindle download page once you get there, if you don't have a Kindle device already, you can download one of their free e-reader apps for your smartphone, tablet device, or your computer. It only take, takes a matter of seconds to download and install the app and complete the purchase of my book, and you'll be reading it in no time. And if you appreciate the value of the information that I offer in these video newsletters and articles and my e-book that's on my website, you can, sh you can show your appreciation by going to my website and on the Wibby toolbar, click the PayPal Donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.